Hi Capricorn, welcome to your week ahead reading for May 17th through May 23rd. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This could be about you and a person, and if it is, this could resonate with yours or their moon rising or Venus sign. All right, if it is about a person, it could. Capricorn, what do we got here? Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, for the week, May 17th through 23rd, what do we got? Seven of Cups. The, okay, so I, um, in full disclosure, I, I was talking before and I didn't, I had half the spread laid out and I hadn't pressed record, so I just thought, you know, I'll reshuffle. But um, you feel very busy this week, like you're working all, if you're not at a work site, you're, you're doing stuff from home, like it's a very busy week for you. Um, and it feels like it's involving someone else also. Like there's a partnership thing going on here. So just saying. Okay, all right. Nine of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. That could be Taurus. Nine of Cups. Four of Wands. Page of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so one, two, three. So we got two nines and two fours. Interesting. All right, glasses, okay. Let me put my glass, hold on, okay. Hmm. Did, so you, what did, what? Are you taking off with someone? Like is something taking off now with someone? And then all of a sudden, so this, the, so you're busy, you are busy because the romance and the work is, what? Is the new person, are you starting to talk to somebody? Because work, you're busy at work. You're busy. If you're not at the work site, you're at home, but you're busy, busy, busy. It's a busy week. It's an active week, a proactive week. What's this Knight of Pentacles? <laughs> Which is the exact opposite of busy. And <laughs> What's this Knight of Pentacles? Could be Taurus, but... Seven of Wands. Okay, so that look at that. that I mean, I'm like busy, 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 and it's like Nine of Pentacles. But we got the Seven of Wands here. It's like you're fighting to keep things stable and calm, and f there's fighting to keep the flow because there's just a lot going on. So what's this Nine of Wands then? What's the Nine of Wands? Seven of Swords. All right. Oopsie. What's this Nine of Cups? I like it. So you know, it, you know what it feels like? It feels like you said your piece and then you did your own thing and you're leaving it up to somebody else. Like it feels like the, the person that you are kind of dealing with, not the unhealthy one. <laughs> this is something you like and it's new and you're looking forward to it. I'm not talking about you walking away and with somebody else. This feels like you, your work is plentiful. You got work, you're working, you're good. But there's, for the Capricorns I'm reading for, it feels like you got a new situation, a new-ish situation that you're, you like. It's not a burden. You're not like, well, you know what? This is how I feel and call me when you can, or text me when, you know, whatever. It's not like that. This is you just kind of having been through it and you're, it, you kind of know what you want and what you don't want. And it's, it's very simple. And so in this new situation um, that is not real serious yet, but it just feels like you're very kind of simplistic or cut and dried about it. You haven't, it's not, you're not given any ultimatums. You're not, there's no drama. You're just not afraid to speak your mind this go around or this time around. Like you're just, it's, you're kind of, it, things are very simple in light of the drama that's been happening. Um, so it feels like you've got like a fringe, feels like you've got like a fringe romantic situation that it is what it is and you're okay with that. And there's no demands or obligation and you're not getting wrapped up in anything because you don't need the drama and it's too soon and you're just, and your focus is on work anyway. So, yeah. What's this four of wands then? Because that's like I'm 
contradicting myself. Oh, what's this? Four of Wands. Whoopsie. What's this? Four of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yep. Keeping the stability. Not going to get wrapped up in anything that's going to be dramatic. I'm keeping... I'm, <laughs> it's like you're fighting for peace, right? But you're. it's an exerted effort to maintain calm, peace, order, stability, and you're not letting anybody affect that. That is where your focus is, and that is, like, you'll die on that hill. Because you're just like, nope, I'm committed to keeping this part of my life calm and serene and what I want. It's like you've just kind of gotten over the hump on something, and you're not wanting any drama now. You're, now is like the resting time. Now as much as you can. Like when you're not, you know, scurrying around at work and really handling things. You're, the rest of your life needs to be calm as much as you can. Because you've just been through it too much. You, you're on the other side of something. And you're like, I'm not going back. And I don't want to bring any drama forward. And there's the calm again. Calm, calm. Keeping things light. Calm. Fighting to keep things calm. What's this Four of Pentacles about? It's four of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Working, 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 working. Keeping things calm, stable, no deficit, no upsurge, but steadily busy and busy, busy working. So, yeah. And I like that because for the Capricorns I'm reading for, that's when you're at your best. When there's flow, when there's um, busy, when you're needed and when you're managing and when you're producing. And that's when you're very like clear headed and you can be simplistic about what you want in a relationship. You can be like, you know, it's very simple, this and this and that's that. It's not cold hearted. You're not, you're just, you're not, there's no need for drama. Like, it, you know, so I like that. This is you at your best. It's when you're not useful, you're just in standby mode, and you can't contribute, but you're affected by things and you're being dumped on and then you're just the safe place or the safe house and it's like, no, 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 I matter. And you feel like you matter here. And you, you are happy with that. With it, whatever you're doing for work is very gratifying and that's where your focus is. And that kind of puts in perspective what you want in a partnership or relationship. So it's all about like you kind of, this whatever this new newish situation is, you two might be talking about that and kind of revisiting it, but that's after a long day at work. That's after you felt needed and valued and you really feel kind of fulfilled here. Um, that's, it's, that's, it feels like that's um, newly found for you. Like it's been a while since you've been busy, able to be busy, since you've been back in the groove of things. And it kind of gives you an optimistic outlook on this, this talk or this strategizing with your this new person like it, it's you're just in a really good frame of mind to have conversations about what you want in a relationship and you i think for the capricorns i'm reading for it's just very simple and there's no drama and you're not going to let there be drama your peace of mind and calm right now is hard won and it's been battle worn and earned so um this you're not laying but I, I want you to understand though you're not laying down the law here like you're not putting your foot down and you're not going well this is how it's going to be and this isn't that you just you just don't have it in you at this point to be dramatic or to kind of entertain anything like that like you're not being cagey you're not gonna not text back until the third day or you're just like look i just like this and that and i gotta go to work but i'll catch you afterwards very simple are we doing this or not if we're not okay we are great but you're not like well i want to see if they're going to take that there's none of that there's none of that what's this page of wands huh <laughs> there's the new thing there's the there's interest there but you're so busy so there's the new thing feels like it's connected to work Feels like you two work in the same field, so you've got common ground there. And this is kind of like a little blossoming. Um, it's not scandalous. It's just, it's, there's a, a new interest here. And, but again, it's like newish. It feels like it's connected to work, and it feels like you two are starting to talk about 
what you want or and yet they can somehow relate to your busyness because they're in a related field or they're at work with you there's an understanding of what you're doing and that i think that's another thing that you like about this situation ship is that you have common ground with this person they get you on a work level like your work ethic the past situation that you kind of just got through did not they had their own demands or own needs of you and they didn't really you weren't able to shine in the relationship and you weren't able to do your job effectively. Um, and when you were at work, you still didn't feel you, you were still kind of your mind was elsewhere. So you didn't feel like you were doing a good enough job or you know what I mean? Like you really are able to shine now and it's you wanting to preserve that. And this new situation that you're dealing with, they, they get that about you. They get it. They like it. They support it. That's good. I mean, that definitely does not hurt. It feels like they, it feels like you work with them or in a related you see each other through work that there's a work related connection here That's for Capricorn I'm not doing a very good job of describing it but I keep coming back to wanting to reiterate you're not giving anybody an ultimatum and you're not laissez-faire about it. you're not just like well whatever no there's interest here you just don't have it in you to be dramatic and you're wanting to preserve um, your efficacy at work and you're back in the groove again and that means everything to you and it, it just you're not pushing for anything to happen if it doesn't it doesn't but you're just you like the fact that you know there's an interest here but they get that about you and you're yeah it's not an act when you act like you don't care no you do care you, you just it's just very simple I'm not going to get worked up over this. I, I like it fine, but if it's not the time, it's not the time, and we'll just do it when it's the time. But I, I refuse to disrupt my stability over this. I will not be doing that again anytime soon. Like, that's what it feels like. And it's not an ultimatum. You're just letting them know where you're coming from. And you're doing that because there's an interest. That was for Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yay for that. The sun card. This is that upswing. This is work being bit you feeling in the flow again. This is that. And this is probably has everything to do with the world opening back up again slowly but surely, but we're, we're coming back online here. So yay for that. Yay. You seeing clearly. Things being very simplified and distilled down to what matters most. And, and you knowing that and you um, being able to articulate that without having a chip on your shoulder and without being like, you know, it's just like you thought about it. It's like, look, this is what matters to me. And my life is very simple and I like it that way. And, I, you know, that's my priority. And they're like, I totally get it. I'm not going to be able to see you till Saturday. You're like, OK, I get it because you know that they're working, too, that they're just as busy, that they're just as it's not like we're, they're kind of, oh, I have to sneak over and see you at 10 o'clock at night or no. They're in the same situation as you are and they have a respect for what you're going through and so do you. Or you, you get each other on that level, which is newfound for you. That's, that's what's different about this. This person kind of respects you and understands you. Okay, I have to see which one that is, if that's right. Some of them are down, some of them are up. All down. Okay. So that, that's the, okay, so that is, yes, that's reversed. Nailed it. Okay. Because there's no resentment. There's no, um, you're, this is being on the other side of the drama. This is coming back online after the crisis. This is things opening back up, you opening up, maybe the world opening back up, brighter days ahead, forgiving being over the the drama and the trauma of it and waking back up forgiving moving on moving forward no grudges all of that um the future remains to be seen you're not fully invested in everything you're still kind of healing and i'm leaving it on its side because that's my thing now because i'm not going to go oh this way because it could go either way and i always turn clockwise before i'm not doing that anymore i think there's a reason why it lands like this i'm going with it um this could be pisces no, it couldn't. Yes, it could. That could be Pisces. 
King of Cups. So this is you kind of coming back online, finding your footing again, being back in the flow. This could be male or female. Um, and you're moving forward. You're not laying down going, oh my gosh, why did this happen? You're, you got back up. No harm, no foul. I'm better for the experience. I'm going to turn it into a positive, be proactive, not letting it hold me back. But I certainly have learned from it and I'm moving forward and brighter days ahead. And the eight of pentacles and the sun and the ace of pentacles and the nine of cut, like you're, you're doing the thing. You're moving forward. Good for you. Feels like a monthly reading. It doesn't feel like just a week. It feels like you've turned a corner. And like this is going to kind of be your situation for a while, the flow. So, you know, yay. <laughs> yay. Okay. Um, I did all that. I did not do this. All right. What else for Capricorn? Whoopsie. Cracky. Okay. That's just rude. for I, I, I think some people don't like it when I shuffle off camera because they think that I'm strategic with the cards and I get that I just have to lean way over my desk <laughs> that's right Capricorn <laughs> self-reliance don't be afraid to fly solo and you're not that's kind of what this is about, is you being okay with that finally. You're finally free and you want to preserve the stability that you've gotten back to since you're on the other side of some kind of drama and trauma. And it has, when I'm talking about, it might have been a little bit of work, but it was mostly a romantic situation. You're on the other side of it now and you're doing your own thing and you've got, you're back in the flow and you like it and that's where you're shining and you're wanting to preserve that. And you do. And money's good. Things are working. I mean, you're... Yeah. Okay. Okay, Capricorn, I hope to see you in the next reading. This Honestly, this feels like a monthly reading. It doesn't just feel like for the week. You, this feels like for the rest of the month, but it'll be another weekly reading in a week. So anyway, um, much love and support to you. Uh, thank you for your service if you're an essential worker or first responder, and I wish you a good week. You take care. Thank you for stopping by.